Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here. And before we get started, we're gonna need just a couple of things and a trip to our browser is what's gonna get them. Type in Steam Recovery Image in your favorite search engine and you should be able to get your way here. And we're gonna go ahead and click here to download the recovery image. You will have to agree to their terms and conditions. Make sure you save it in downloads and make sure that it's got the proper extension. Now, depending on the speed of your internet and all those great factors, 2.5 gigabytes could be quick or maybe not. In the meantime though, while we're downloading that, we're gonna to go to the Bellina site and we're gonna get Etcher downloaded for Linux, right? So we want the Linux 64-bit version and it's an app image. All right, so we want that guy, we're gonna download it. Again, we're gonna put it in downloads, make sure app image is the extension or it won't work right. All right, so everything should be about done, everything's small and quick. And let's open up the Dolphin File Manager. Go to downloads and I'll just put downloads in both sides so we can kind of keep track of it. All right, so we have this BZ2 file and we're gonna right click that guy and hit extract. And this will take some time, four minutes, 26 seconds. And you can watch the little progress bar in the bottom right to know when it is done. All right. And what we end up with now is the original image as well as a .img file. We're gonna go ahead and run uh, Etcher now. Flash from a file, we're gonna select the IMG, not the IMG BZ2. Make sure that you got the right target. It defaulted for me. When you hit flash, it's gonna ask for your pseudo password. If you don't have one of those, of course, you can go to your console and type P-A-S-S-W-D and set one. All right, this flashing time is probably not gonna be accurate and it will completely depend on several different factors. This took seven minutes and 31 seconds to finish flashing. Yeah, buy a quality drive for this. In fact, I recommend highly the one that you see on the screen right now. It makes a difference. Reliability, dependability. This. Uh, validation process takes about a minute. You can do it or skip it. And we are done writing the image. Seems short on the video, but it takes forever when you're actually doing it. All right, are you ready? We're gonna shut down now and start the process. We're about to cross the point of no return. Now you're going to hold the volume down button while tapping the power button. Keep the volume down, held down till you see a logo. And then what you should get is the boot menu. And that's what we're gonna use to boot to the USB device right here. There should only be one that says USB, but you know, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So we select that. And I'm gonna time compress this. I wanted you to see everything, but I didn't want you to have to wait for a minute and 53 seconds. There's some spots in here that look like they take forever. This is at 8X, so you get an idea. Okay, once that process is complete, you're gonna be dropped into the desktop and you're gonna have four items on the top. Re-image Steam Deck is what we're looking for, but there's a reinstall which blows your Steam Deck away. I don't know what the point of that is. Terminal with repair tools to reset your pseudo password, but we're gonna do re-image Steam Deck. All right, we're gonna get a pop-up here in a moment. This is it. Once you do this, you're done. We're good, hit proceed. Minute 18 seconds later, in this case, again, it all depends on the quality and speed of your card. We're gonna go ahead and reboot. Again, I'm gonna leave this running in ADAC so that you can see how long it takes. People are always saying, well, how long should I wait? It looks like it's stalled. How long should that be? I want you guys to know how long it is. Just understand without a quality card, without a fast uh, card or a flash drive rather, um, this process could take considerably longer. If you want the same numbers I've got, get the same drive that I did. All right, that's it. Now it looks like he just turned it on fresh, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we could stop the video here, but I do wanna talk about a couple of things downstream of this. Uh, you're welcome to leave now, but I'd suggest hanging out and uh, hearing what I got to say with this. Now, a lot of people who aren't on wired connections or on Wi-Fi, you may not have, uh, you might not have luck with this part of the install. If you have problems, hit back and try it again. Try a different network or use your phone's hotspot. A lot of people don't remember that when they first attached their Steam Deck to their network. And when they did, they had problems. They forgot that they had problems. And I think what happens is, is that the drivers in the image are probably not as great as the ones that are there once it's done installing. So uh, using a phone hotspot seems to clear that up for pretty much everybody. Use a friend's Wi-Fi. I'd say hop on Starbucks, whatever. 
but we don't want to sit and watch this whole thing, of course. So we're going to go ahead and give you the ADEX treatment here. And this is a two minute and five uh, second process for me. And we're going to go ahead and let it reboot. I'm not making going to make you sit through that. We're going to keep it all sped up for you. All right. And voila, we're here to sign in. Now, if you're not using the Steam mobile app, uh, I left this in here because I wanted to tell you that the Steam mobile app is amazing, especially if you do a lot of logging in or wiping your deck or anything like that. You're sharing the deck, signing in with the mobile authenticator is the best. All right, so I've signed in and we are now in the Steam Deck. But before you do anything, don't do a damn thing. The first thing you need to do is go in and check for updates, right? And there could be more than one. So go to settings and system. Now see, it doesn't say that there's any updates, but check yourself. But before that, pick the channel you're gonna be on. If you're a stable person, great. I use beta because it's usually pretty solid and preview if you really wanna be on the cutting edge. Once you've set your uh, participation, go ahead and hit check. You will have at least one update and possibly more. Once again, we're gonna help you out here and uh, jump over that time. Then we're gonna jump over this time and we're back. And of course, it's probably a good time to go over and check one more time for updates. Uh, maybe your doc has an update, something like that. Just make sure you check before you start setting everything up. Make sure you get all of your updates done and we are good. All the updates are fantastic. I love it. All right, well, that's really kind of it. Um, you can go ahead and start setting it up, reinstall your games, all that good stuff. Hey, listen, I hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I appreciate every single one of you that watch my videos. I'm Shane Armonroe, and until next time, take care.